Quieting down into the new month. I'm meteorologist Joe Martucci. Happy August, everybody. We're going to see if we can shake some of this severe weather out like we saw yesterday as we go into our eighth month of the year. But this was a shelf cloud that went through the northern part of LBI. Shelf clouds usually precede strong thunderstorms and strong thunderstorms we had. 60 mile an hour wind gusts in Beach Haven. Also had a 50 in Beach Haven as well and a 50 in Mystic Islands. Plenty of other gusts in the 40s as well. Ocean County is really the hot spot as well as eastern Atlantic County where we saw upwards of two inches of rain in some places. Something we are not seeing today in addition to the severe weather is the high heat. We got to around 91 degrees at noontime for Philly and we did get up to 91 at Atlantic City International Airport making it a four day heat wave. For today, temperatures about five degrees cooler from much of the mainland in the low to mid 80s. That is seasonable for this time of year and even a couple 70s in LBI as well. Now we're trying to get drier along with the cooler air. However, we're not doing that just yet. So this is a look at our dew points. Atlantic City 71, K May 72. That is sticky here and has been sticky for today today high pressure system in the great lakes though is having a lot of dry air with it but the cold front is the way to get that drier air and has not come through our area yet but you see 62 in binghamton 64 in scranton that is just a touch humid even in allentown 67 we call that getting there it's not sticky but it's not necessarily dry either now as we put this loop in motion over the next couple of days you're going to see that this front kind of lingers around. We stay in these purples here, which are 70 degree plus dew points. That gives us the risk for showers and storms each day. However, it is not a washout for you. So let's take a look over the next couple of afternoons on the mainland. Isolated showers and storms, isolated showers and storms. That means most of you are dry. If you see a storm, you kind of got the short end of the stick, unfortunately. Then we go to Saturday during the afternoon. We're anticipating scattered coverage. That's just your more general hit or miss variety. And then we go back down to isolated for Sunday. Now we go into the shore drier story. We're likely dry today. We're likely dry tomorrow afternoon as well. Still anticipating scattered showers and storms for Saturday afternoon as well as a spotty morning thunderstorm as well. And then we are likely dry for Sunday during the p.m. hours. So we go into this afternoon temperatures in the low to mid 80s like we were saying before. We do have a good amount of sunshine around and a couple of showers and storms will flare up mainly west of the parkway. See in sand report water temperatures are all over the place. Atlantic City is in the mid 60s, but we're in the mid 70s in Cape May and even some parts of LBI. Surf height is low under two feet. Winds are calm, relatively calm under 10 miles an hour. Rip current risk is a moderate, so make sure to pay attention to the lifeguard flights. If they say it's not safe to swim in, do not swim in it. There will be plenty of other days for good swimming, I promise. We go to tonight temperatures in the upper 60s turning clear and actually pretty good to leave the windows open for tonight and then we go to friday where if you're in southern ocean county and the majority of you in southern ocean county live east of the parkway i think you will be dry for tomorrow so we'll give you a partly sunny sky temperatures in the upper 70s to low 80s a little bit warmer in atlantic county again showers and storms west of the parkway so places like Folsom can definitely see one k Bay county again most of us live east of the parkway here so we're going to go with a partly sunny day Temperatures around 80 degrees. And then we go into Cumberland County. Well, looks to see the highest coverage of showers and storms. Again, not a washout, though. We go into our mainland seven-day forecast. Again, as you see, Saturday and Sunday, showers and storms, just spotty afternoon coverage. If you do need a large chunk of dry time, then you're going to want to focus it onto the morning and midday hours, but it's still not a washout during the afternoon. Then as we go into Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, temperatures floating around seasonable levels. We start to get some showers and storms into our forecast for Tuesday and Wednesday. At the shore, drying sea breeze keeps us dry today, tomorrow, and Sunday. Saturday is just the only hiccup here. And then again, we renew those shower and storm chances, typical shower and storm chances for the middle of next week. For the latest in South Jersey weather, we're on social media, Facebook and Instagram at JoeMarkWX, Twitter at ACPressMartucci, or thepressofac.com slash weather.